Hey guys, Constance here at A Good Life Farm. So today I just have a quick little video for you. It is a recipe that I recently did for some roasted cauliflower. It is the best cauliflower recipe I have done so far and I just want to share it with you. It is kind of like a one pan deal and it is so, so good. So to begin with, you cut up some cauliflower, an entire head of fresh cauliflower, and you're just going to break it up into the little florets and put it into a bowl that you can then drizzle some balsamic vinegar onto. And you'll give it a little bit of a toss or a stir to coat it, and then you're just going to let it sit for about half an hour. Then you're going to slice up some tart apples, like Granny Smith apples. Now you can peel the apples if you like to. I tend to leave peels on my apples. I like the texture. I like the added fiber and vitamins and all of that. Um, I don't tend to peel my apples unless I absolutely have to. So once you've done that, you're going to line a baking sheet that has sides with some parchment paper and arrange the cauliflower on the baking sheet with the apples. Then you're going to slice up some bacon, about five or six slices, and sprinkle those pieces of bacon all over the top of the cauliflower and the apples. And it's as easy as that. Give it a little bit of salt and pepper, about a half a teaspoon of each. Cover it with another sheet of parchment paper, just to help keep a little bit of the moisture in and keep it from splattering. Then you're going to bake it for about 40 minutes. After 40 minutes, you will then take a spatula and very carefully turn over everything, flip it all over, and then bake it for another 15 minutes uncovered. And you'll cook it until the cauliflower is tender and the bacon is nice and golden. And that is it. It is absolutely amazing. The flavors go together so well. Now when I made this the other night, I served it with my creamy mustardy pork cutlets. You can find both of these recipes on my blog, cosmopolitancornbread.com, and I will link them both down below where you can get them. They have all of the measurements, all of the details, and of course, free printable versions of those recipes if you like that. So that is it for today, you guys. Thanks for joining me here at A Good Life Farm. I do three videos every week of homesteading, home cooking, and back to basics living. And if you like those sorts of things, be sure to hit the subscribe button and join us in the future. Thanks for watching.